welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so today I have a requested video to share my Louis Vuitton handbag collection with you and also to give my opinion on which handbag I would purchase if I were only to purchase or if I were only to have one Louis Vuitton in my entire lifetime so I will answer that question at the end of the video so let's go ahead and get started with the collection um, before I get started, I just want to let you know that I've been collecting these bags for the past 10 years. Um, I only have five bags, um, but there are five bags that I absolutely love and that I feel like I will use for the rest of my life and even pass on to my daughter as she gets older. So the very first bag that, um, that I did get is this uh, Speedy 30 in the monogram canvas. And I got this bag in 2004 and um, this bag was on my wish list for such a long time. I wanted this bag forever. I just felt like the size 30 was um, the perfect size in, in a bag in, like, in the Speedy. And um, yeah, so I love this bag. I use it all the time. I love it for fall and winter, but I use it all year round. As you can see, it's patinaed quite a bit. For 10 years I don't really think it's that bad but um, it has um, you know changed color okay the next bag that I got was in 2009 and it is the never full um, mm mm means that it's a medium size there is a smaller size and a larger size I just felt like this was the perfect size for me I love to use this bag in the in the summer and this is also in the monogram uh, canvas. This bag can be used two different ways. Um, you can cinch it in, but I won't do a review on any of these bags. Um, if you would like to see a review on any one of these bags that, I, that I'm going to show you today, just leave me a comment down below and I will gladly make a review on any bag that you choose. So the third bag that I got was this, um, is this Speedy 35 in the Demi Azure and it's just a lovely lovely bag that I use in, um, in the spring a lot just feel like it goes with a lot of um, spring and summer outfits since it's blue and beige um, this bag I did get in 2010 and as you can see this one has not patinaed quite as much because I do take care of this bag so so much I just feel like I'm always terrified that my daughter's gonna spill a drink on it or something when we're at a restaurant um, I absolutely love this bag I don't think I would ever purchase another one in this color just because of that because I'm so frightened and I'm just I don't know I just I feel like I have to take care of this bag so so much I mean I do take care of my other bags a lot but this one is just like <laughs> because it's um because it's so light in color. So the last two bags I did get, sorry, I did get on the same day. So let me just start with the smaller one. And this is the Pouchette Accessories. And this is such a cute little bag. It's so, I don't know, I've gotten a lot more use out of it than I thought I would. Um, it's kind of like a little evening bag. Um, you can also use it like as a little, um, as a little clutch. It's very, very roomy. It's really, really nice. I absolutely love it. And it's in the uh, monogram canvas as well. I know these newer ones come with a longer strap because my sister has one and her strap is like thinner and it's um, shorter. So yeah, this is a cute little bag to have in your collection. The last handbag that I have is this Speedy 35 in the Demi um, Eben color. I absolutely love this bag. It's so beautiful. It's so, so chic. Um, I really would like to add more of this print in my collection. I think it's just so beautiful and I just love that these um, handles will not patina because they're, uh, you know, just a chocolate brown color. This color is just so chic and after having two 35s, I don't think I could ever go back to a 30. Uh, size 30 just because it's just I don't know I feel like you know the 30 is just a lot nicer in my opinion and I just like it better on my frame I feel like this one's kind of small and I just love the size 35 I feel like the 40 is a little too big but maybe one day I'll get one and use it like as you know like a luggage or something but um yes I absolutely love this bag the red interior is just beautiful as well um, I do feature this one in a what's in my bag video 
I'll link that video down below if you haven't watched it. And um, so to answer your question as to which bag I would purchase if I only uh, had one Louis Vuitton in my entire life, I would choose this one. This is the bag that I would pick if I were only to have one in my entire life. And the reason is because it doesn't patina, so you'll have a prettier bag um, forever. You know, it's not gonna oxidize like this one did, even though I think this is beautiful, but um, I just feel like if you're just gonna have one in your entire life, like you would want it to look pretty all the time. I don't know, I just love it. The only problem is that this bag can only be held um, in the crook of your arm or just down like this. Um, I know like if you have smaller children, it's kind of hard um, to be carrying this around. So I would recommend a um, this bag, but in the bandolier. And that um, is the one that comes with a strap that you can use crossbody. I don't think I would get a 35 for to get a crossbody. I probably would do a 30 for a crossbody, but I didn't um, opt for a crossbody because I just love wearing a handbag here. And I also have really nice um, crossbody bags that I felt like if I needed to use a crossbody, well, I could just use those. But um, in my opinion, this is the way to go. This is such a beautiful bag. You will not reg regret this print. It's just beautiful. It's so chic and it just looks great with anything. I just love the pops of gold against the brown, cho the chocolate brown. It's just amazing. Like you will love, you will love, love, love this bag. So I really, really hope that this video helped you and I hope that um, you get your Louis Vuitton really soon and I can't wait to see it. And um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you would like to see a review on any one of these bags, please let me know. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.